Okay, we have a firing solution, a final specific warts and all kind of a reed. It's a little different than the ballpark. It's a little more than 10 inches. I don't know exactly why. Maybe it's a little change in the flatness. If you actually examine this green, it kind of ups a little bit over here. It's not exactly the same flatness as it is around the hole. So maybe that adds a little to the break. A little bit of steepness here more than over there at the very beginning of the putt might have to aim, aim an inch or two higher than usual. But our warts and all reed is willing to accept that. We don't guard against that by some sort of general rule like we're in the, in the Army. We're, we're just dealing with the reality. Whatever it is, we have to accept it. That's a warts and all reed. Right now, we've got, a, we've got an aim line, and we know how to do the distance control. It's that far as if you're putting straight. But we have two minor little issues called aiming and stroking and we have to deal with those those are the easiest part of the four skills reading and touch that's kind of tricky that's a lot of imagination a lot of paying attention a lot of knowing what matters and how to see it but once it's aimed you're off the hook you just need to putt where you putter points that's the stroke doesn't matter how it matters whether We'll talk about how in just a minute, but it matters whether you start the ball exactly where the putter face aims. Yes, no, black, white, you either do or you don't. If you don't, you totally mess up. 